what is going on you guys my name is rage and we are back today with an exciting video here uh, in regards to now the introduction of red goblin being confirmed but we already saw previously he's gonna be, fe to be featured monthly february character uh, so there's gonna be some upcoming battle plans as well as how gwenham is actually gonna get introduced now officially so uh first and foremost february 4th we got a raid season update if you recall they're essentially swapping now. Um, there's going to be one more time that this is going to be run, but then essentially those diamond rewards are going to be pivoting over to the war. So you do need to actually perform well in there to get that ranking. We got Strike Pass on spot here coming up. We also have a Union Jack Blitz event, Gear Explosion. There's going to be an Alliance event that's going to feature Cosmic Crucible Battles. So make sure you're coordinating with your Alliance. And then finally, uh, Gwenum Verse, finally an opportunity to get her unlock here for the Hive Mind team through a combination of earning Arena Orbs and playing War Battle. So overall, the event's pretty good. We'll deep dive it further on, uh, getting closer to the event here, but it's just in a few days as well. There's also going to be a Web Milestone component, which is the expanding of uh, Incursion Energy. So uh, there's a typo there. It's not actually Campaign, it's Incursion, something to be mindful of there. February 8th, there's actually new Incursion Campaign chapters coming. Heroes for Hire, Quick Rumble, and then again, the availability of Red Goblin coming into the game. So really cool. We have saw this data mine quite a bit already, but I mean, just finally getting his kit in full usage here and obviously rounding out the rest of the Hive Mind team. Um, he's going to be providing actually a mixture of different aspects for the team, but he's also going to be cleansing for the team, providing heals, and also uh, performing um, a trauma and actually able to transfer negative effects from each hive mind so we'll definitely gotta deep dive this further but something specific to the raids is that he's copying negative effects uh, from himself to each enemy and then he's also clearing and uh, healing and attacking the enemies for set damage um, per negative effect so definitely gonna be interesting to see how that dynamic uh, unfolds and it's gonna be interesting to see if we need him as well because uh, especially with the four piece plus super scroll it's definitely able to still get the job done but he is gonna be rounding out the rest of the team if folks don't have super scroll obviously for uh, the incursion range so definitely a, a notable addition obviously a really cool looking character i can't wait to see his addition into the game but having said that it's only in a few days right goblin's coming in, on february 8th there for the red start orbs as well as addition where you can actually um you know utilize power cores for his orbs up to a chance of 180 fragments there now, having said that, guys, um, we also have a big, big update here in Cosmic Crucible Season 6. So I'm going to be deep diving this a bit further as well. But there's new rules, that, if you recall, with each season that comes. So we got to change up our defenses and offenses again and making sure that we're up to date on that. But it does look like it's going to be starting here on um, uh, pretty shortly here, actually, officially on February 9th. And then it's actually going to be... Uh, all the way until it looks like season seven on March 29th. So great to see that they're giving us now heads up to prepare for. And it's always nice to have some dynamic changes because you definitely want to switch things up, right? So they have this um, summary right here, but we'll definitely deep dive it further. So let's make some uh, sample teams that we can utilize both defense and offensively. Free claim, make sure you guys are going through this. Uh, obviously there's that symbiote of the Spaceways event. The, the blitzing finally started today. So we definitely want to be taking advantage of that. There's a chance to actually get fragments up to 2000 actually, depending on your RNG so you definitely want to make sure you're maximizing that as well as some additional blitz charges and surfer fragments here uh, we're also rounding out the last uh, events here with the mechanical marvel featuring forge so if you guys haven't already capitalized on the short shards uh, there's definitely the last event here so again as I touched on uh, for earlier on um, the Gwenum verse event is gonna be a combination of a few things but you're essentially it's similar to what we've seen with Craven and Lizards event it's a really a free to play friendly event. You make sure that you're doing well in your arena ranked rewards, and that payout uh, does come out each day. It's going to add significant uh, points to the milestone as well orbs that you can actually open up for um, shard fragments. Now, having said that, it's uh, usually pretty easy to obtain as well, a three star, four star. So I'm expecting, hopefully, that's going to be the case. We also got this Clintar drum kit that's going to be the expanded incursion energy. So make sure you're mindful of that. Alliance Tribunal. So this is just a Cosmic Crucible one where it, you are going to be working and synergizing with your alliance to get that done. And what's notable as well, guys, Chapter 7 and 8 um, coming here for Incursion Campaign. So this is coming actually pretty shortly here, but uh, something to be mindful of. It does require mutant or tech characters at 6 red stars. And then Chapter 8 actually requires mutants at 7. So that's going to be the bottleneck likely following the first 5 missions in Chapter 8. Then you can utilize any character at 7 red for the final 5. But what's really cool is that they do give us a sneak peek in terms of the rewards. And it does look like 7 reds are coming for um, the majority or all the Pegasus characters. As well as New Avengers, Secret Defenders, 
and superior six so this is pretty huge guys uh it's a great addition into the game and as well like i said that transition um to bring our roster overall to diamond level and having these red stars is going to be pretty big so hopefully you guys enjoyed this short and sweet update here lots and lots of them fold here but definitely some uh videos to come in preparation for all these changes i'll keep you guys up to date happy friday thank you as always for your guys' time and i'll catch you guys in the next one